Dear faculty, I'm going to show you how to uh, customize your Zoom because there's a lot of features. Now, to do this, you should have uh, got, received a Zoom account. All right, so once you have your own account, um, customize the features like I'm showing you. Here we go. Let me go into my account. When you're logged in, you'll see your profile. The first thing is your meeting ID. All right. You want to have a green checkbox here that says use this ID for instant meetings. If you don't, whenever you launch instant meetings, you'll have a different ID. Um, my experience is you'll use this a lot. Just use the same ID. Makes it simple. Don't ever change it. Um, you know, there's no reason to do, to do that. Uh, by default, it's not checked. So if it's not checked, just edit that. Make sure you check the little box right there and hit Save Changes. Okay. Never change your ID. Okay, the next thing is personal link. If you've got a pro account, which you can get from IMT, it'll allow you to customize this personal link right here. And you see that it says apu.zoom.us slash my, and then I use this, David V PhD, for everything. Okay, you see I have David V PhD up here, you know, uh, whatever. I mean, you can use that for Facebook, Twitter, Zoom. Uh, have a little handle that you use for all your stuff so your students can find you easily. Um, so if you, if you customize this and put your custom name there, then you can give your students this link and it'll always go, it'll, whenever they put it in, it'll go to, it'll automatically go into this link and they don't have to remember your ID. Okay, so then you don't have to remember your ID. So that's really good. Um, so set a personal link. Now, two more things I want you to do. Um, well, uh, I think that's good for right now. Um, set those two things up, and then I'll show you something else in the next lesson.